What's up guys, uh, comic book collectors, comic book community. Uh, this weekend is uh, the weekend after the Minnesota Comic Exchange event. And uh, a week during the same day of that event, I got a uh, message notification that next weekend there's going to be another event uh, at a, a mall. It's pretty much like two hours away from uh, from my city. And uh, I'm just, hopefully I do find something good and you know, I don't I don't expect anything crazy. But yeah, they sell toys. Uh, this is at Rochester, Minnesota. Toys, comics, uh, everything else related to uh, collectibles. So yeah, let's uh, hope I find something good. And uh, let me know if I find something that I missed out, guys. So uh, yeah, peace out. Hello. How are you? Doing good. Got some great books. Thank you. <laughs> wow. Oh, Ranger. Love Rider comics. Street Arrow. Really old Western, the Wyoming kid. <laughs> you should. You thought of that? Okay, that's fine. Ooh, true comics. 49 75 I'm not bad I'm exposed I was expecting more B bar B writers Wow that's crazy I'm not both Oh, police comments. Wow. Not bad. Robin Hood. Wow. Bag. You don't have nothing to put in there, do you? Uh, I can give you a rubber band and then a bag. So, yeah, yeah, so, yeah, then you can warm up. Yeah, exactly. And just hopefully you don't squish them, right? Right. But, uh, <laughs> let, me, let me pay you $18, okay? okay. I, get, I get easily confused, so let me okay. do that first. So there's 10. Okay. All right, here, go ahead and count this real quick. Make sure that's 18 for you. All right, so now let me get you guys your rubber bands and some bags here. Well, maybe I'll just run it out to the truck real quick. Are you close by? Yeah. All right, that'll work. That way we don't take the chance. Right, right. Be right back. You don't want to look at the toys?
Yeah, you're right. Wow, they got some crazy toys. First appearance of Dracula. <laughs> How you doing? I'm good. Long time no see. No. Go out. You doing well? Yeah. Well, good. My mom just got put in the hospital. What? I'm sorry. This is weird last week. Sorry. I think it was supposed to be Hey! That April, we need their Ninja Turtles. Wow. Star Wars. There's nothing wrong with that. Yo, this is crazy. <laughs> Yo, those are the ones I like. Wow. Masters of the Universe. Hey guys, uh, welcome back to my channel. Uh, as you saw there, I from the event, I didn't really get anything good. I only got like a few dollar books. And uh, there were a lot of great books, but overall, I felt like they were kind of overpriced and over their value, I guess, from everywhere, every vendor that I went to. There weren't that many vendors that sold comic books, but I had a great time looking through these books and, you know, just seeing these great wall books. But instead, um, I'll just be showing a few books that I bought from, that I purchased from eBay. So yeah, I just want to show it to you guys my collection because I have nobody else to show, uh, share it with and show it to. But yeah, first issue of Nukla, the first appearance of this hero. It's pretty cool. Awesome Silver Age, 12 center. Another Silver Age. The Brave and the Bold, number 57. This is uh, one of my favorite characters from... Uh, this Brave and the Bowl title series. First appearance of uh, Metamorpho. An awesome character. He's like a scientist or a guy that got stuck in a pyramid. And uh, based on the story, he got thrown into a pyramid by this one evil guy. And then there was like this element ray of, uh, was it like a sun ball or whatever? And then it fought. It fell. <laughs> hard, to, hard to explain, but it touched him. He fell asleep. And the next thing he knows, he woke up and he became this sort of elemental being. But he still has, like, his facial structure as a human being. But then, like, he's not human anymore. But then he does have crazy good elemental powers. Awesome character. I wish and I do hope that James Gunn focuses on more, more characters like this guy. Because this guy has a lot of unique stuff that can go around with him. Metamorpho, my, one of my favorites. And from eBay, I also purchased two copies of the Dark Hawk number one. I have a direct edition and a newsstand. They are not perfect condition, but having copies of issue number one is great. I also have a few other copies too, so I'm laying around here somewhere. But a lot of people, collectors, uh, they love Dark Hawk number one. I don't think we'll ever see him, but who knows? And another DC. This book I got from eBay as well. All the books that I'll be showing from, is from eBay. New Guys number one. Uh, first appearance of this this guy right here, Orion. Um, I think he's a, the son of Darkseid. Hopefully I'm right. 
And this is like multiple appearances of uh, New God characters. Super happy to have this copy. My one and only. And this one is awesome. DC Comics presents number 26. Look at that. The cover, uh, not many people like it, but it's still pretty cool. Hell Jordan right here with Superman. First team appearance of the Teen Titans right here in a preview. And next issue is the next one, number 27. First appearance of Mongo right here. This is basically like a Thanos for, uh, of the DC Universe. Super cool. Uh, I got to see a few clips of him on the Young Justice episode, uh, TV show, uh, TV series. Super cool to have these two. I never thought that I would have this book. First team appearance of the Teen Titans. Grew up watching them. And my last book that I wanted to show to you guys. The character that's coming up. The Power of Warlock. Adam Warlock. First appearance of him named as uh, Adam Warlock super cool i got this book for 30 dollars, so that was a crazy good steal i know that this book is like over that price but it's a pretty good copy not gonna lie but yeah uh that's pretty much um what i've been uh, focusing on so far lately i've just been taking my time off and you know i've just been taking a few breaks here and um yeah as you, oh you can see right there that's um uh, Infinite Crisis number five, uh, first appearance of Jaime Reyes as the Blue Beetle, the new Blue Beetle. And the trailer just released. And by the time you guys see the video, I'll try to do like a, uh, was it like a uh, reaction video of the trailer that just came out. So yeah, look forward to that. But yeah, uh, thanks for watching. And uh, oh, I also want to say that this upcoming weekend, by the time you see this video, this upcoming weekend, it was April 8th, I think. This Saturday, there's going to be an event, another Comic-Con that's, that's coming up in uh, Minnesota. And I will be attending to it. And hopefully I do find a lot of great books too. And uh, yeah, there's going to be like a ton of uh, vendors or uh, I'm, I'm assuming more than 10, uh, maybe 20 vendors. But yeah, if you guys are in the area of Minnesota and you're nearby and you know, just come through, I'm going to be posting like the little logo or the little poster around here somewhere. But yeah, yeah. Uh, Look forward towards the event and my reaction video of the Blue Beetle that, with the trailer. Yeah, so peace. Thanks for watching, guys.